Okay, guys, so now we're covering basic Java. Uh, so your assignments were to complete uh, 2.2.4 and then two, all the way up to uh, 2.3.5. Um, I believe that's what it was. And uh, let me see. So 2.2.4 is uh, they want you to just to declare a variable and then of what data type and then print out whatever that information is. So what I usually do guys just to kind of speed it up or kind of help me out is in the assignment or in the uh, exercise description, I'll usually grab that information, I'll copy it and I'll paste it right here as a comment. And then uh, then it helps me just kind of know what, what it is that they, that they want. On this one, they're wanting you to declare a uh, int variable uh, of 2016. So int. And then uh, here is 2016. All right. So what's happening right now is uh, if it were the year 2600, okay. So I write a program that declares an int. Here it is. That's being declared. Named year. So that's the variable named year. And set it equal to the current year, which is what they want, not our year. Uh, there, there was if you put if you put any other year, it's not gonna work. Uh, it'll just give you errors. So and this is for code high school, all right? So we've declared it. Now the next thing uh, is you got to write a statement to display that information out. And how we do that is we've done it before. We write out uh, the string the string method of uh, system dot out dot print in parentheses and then put down that uh, information in and uh, quotes the current year is 2016. You do that, that's going to give you the answer. Okay, that's how you do that. Uh, so you bring it back that information that you're asking for, all right? and it's going to set that year to 2016. Um, now, in in uh, in your system dot out when when you put that current year is 2016, um, instead of putting that 2016 in there, uh, go ahead and put the in parentheses. You're going to put uh, or in uh, quotes, you're going to put the current year is, in quotes, and then comma, plus, and then year, and then print, and, you know, parentheses, semicolon, and that's going to give you the year. That's how you're supposed to do it. Um, make sure, uh, here, I'm just going to do this for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this information. say year so now we're gonna put parentheses plus year mm -hmm. I don't think we gotta do a comma so we'll find out right now um, I think we're good so the plus is you're concatenating that information into that so you don't have to type it out just by putting the year is gonna throw that information in there so let's see what happens actually let's give it a space here Okay, and let's see if it's done right. So this is when you're declaring variables, and then you're printing that information back out. Since you already declared the year that it's in, all you have to do is just type that in there, and you're good to go. It's taking a long time, so there must be something wrong in here. So anyways, you guys can mess around with this uh, program, try to see if you can get it working. And that's it. I pretty much gave you guys the answer. So um, let's go to the next one. And I'm not trying I'm not gonna try to give you the full program. Okay, let's uh, let me delete all this. I don't want right there. And again for this one. Uh, I put in the exercise in here, uh, I grab all that information, just kind of help me out as I write this out. They want you to write a string name, okay, that you're going to give it a string name, 
Uh, and then you're going to declare a lucky number as an int data type, and you're going to put that information in there. A double, a double data type, which a double, remember, it's a decimal. If you have a decimal in your numbers, you have to use a double. If not, it's not going to work. A boolean, true or false, and then, uh, and that's what it's got to print out. So let's uh, let's start with that. Let's, let me do this. I'm going to copy that and put that in here. And then I can start uh, getting it working. So let's fix this uh If you don't indent everything right, then it's going to start screaming at you to do just something wrong. Here we're going to put this uh, the name. So I'm going to go Carol the dog. Copy. Put. That's a string. Okay. That string is going to be held in my name. That's a data type string. The next thing is I want us to fill this information. They gave us the answer already. That's going to be lucky number 11. Let's try that out. There it is. So 11 is a int, an integer that's going to be held in lucky number. The next one is a double. So I'm going to go double. Uh, let's go with, uh, what else? 7, 5, 5, 3. All right. So let's go. And Boolean. Booleans are true or false. So we're going to say true. Uh, with Java, it's always true. Booleans. There, you have. If a condition is true, that boolean, then that's always going to be that. Uh, so, in this case, I want it to be true. So we're going to go is a dog true. Okay. So that's the thing. We've already declared all these uh, variables and what data types they are. Next thing I want us to do is to print out that information. So I'm just going to do one, and you guys can do the rest. So system dot out now print line. Print line because it's going to go one, two, three. So one line. The second one is going to be the second line and third uh, and then four. So print line. And in here, I'm going to put uh, my name. Okay. And because that's what's calling, it's calling up that variable. Okay. That me remember, methods, what they call up. This is an argument. So it's calling up that, uh, that method or what it is. It, what is it that you declared and initialized? All right. And in the case, my name is Carol the Don. So let's see if that's, if that's correct. And two errors. Oh, forgot one thing. And there you go. I forgot to do those things, guys. So there it is. And that's okay. I don't care that the other stuff is not right. You guys can fix the rest. But it's showing you that my name. The variable that was being held as a data type string is going to print out this information, which is Carol the dog. Okay, and that's how you do it. That's how you do this. You just got to kind of work your way through it. If you get in trouble, like if you need some help, just let me know and I'll email me directly and I'll, I'll respond back and help you out. Okay, so the next one was uh, 2.35. Was this it? No. Yeah, 2.3. This one, okay, let me see. Okay, I already did this one. Um, what was the exercise? Write a program that takes the user input. So let's write, let's copy all that information in. Copy, let's go, and I'm going to find out what comment I need to do to uh, make everything green in here because that way I don't have to keep going back. All right, so it's telling us to write a program. Here it is a string favor. This is a, a variable that's type string. That's asking a read line. It's, it's you're, you're, you're having the user enter information. Okay, so you're asking a question. They're going to enter that through a read line and it's going to hold that and then put it back out when you do the system dot print out favorite food and that's what it's going to give you just like before when we we're doing the uh, the uh, string data type of my name and it was carol the dog kind of like that same thing so you're doing the same concept here the only difference now is that you're actually asking uh, information 
okay and to get that information you're having to run this method right here okay read line read line read line okay and that's it let's go to the next one and oh, I get, okay so next time I'm gonna make sure I don't get these completed before I show you so on this one um, what's the exercise you write a program in this okay you're gonna write a poem in this program however there are two types of poems you'll have to print out okay and first print out that okay alright so you're gonna print two out and then you're gonna ask the person to enter something back so let's see how they do this okay so the first line second line third line and how you get that is this system dot out dot print line it creates a line so every, it's like hitting on your keyboard enter so print that ln is like hitting enter on your keyboard so it's gonna display this whole message or it's gonna display this message and then it's gonna go new line and it's gonna go this message new line and then it's asking us doing it again it gives you a space and does it again one two three nothing is free okay so it does it again and then you're asking the user remember read line so it goes this is your variable that you're declaring as data type string and you're gonna call it back in here system dot out print line user poem and it's gonna print this information out and then it's gonna hold it now as soon as the person enters that information and hits enter on their keyboard which is then that information is has put back it gets displayed on the screen so you don't have to write out system dot out print line of whatever they do it holds it in memory um, and I think that's it so you guys have any questions Please email me directly. So now you have all the assignments. I actually did this for you guys, so there's no excuse for you not getting it done. If you're turning in late, you're not going to get full credit. Uh, but some points is better than nothing. So um, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be uploading some uh, more videos as we progress through, uh, this week.